to the next topic. Okay. And the next topic is, has Conte been backed? Uh, it's a very broad question. I mean, how do you... Let's, but let, if we set up the um, premise, I mean, we can put a poll out on the chat, see what people think, and we'll discuss it. Um, has Conte been back to this window? So first of all, what does it mean for Conte to be back? I guess it means, um, has he got... What, what, I guess from before the window, what would it mean to you to say Conte's being back this window, but well, before the window started? Before the window, get the players out he wants out, and bring positions in that we heavily needed. Yeah, That's but for me. were you as focused on outgoings as, as incomings before the window started? Um... I was focused on, yeah, I mean, in terms of Undombele and Delhi, yes. Lo Celso, not really, but I agree with what he's done with Lo Celso. Um, so, yeah, I think I was. I think I was. I mean, obviously, always going to focus more on incomings, but outgoings was always in my mind, yeah. Yeah, but, and I think from that point of view, obviously, the club have definitely listened to him, and clearly, this is what has happened. But before the window started, every, well, you know, we all wanted a right wing back. We all, uh, we all wanted um, a striker, although we did get Kulusevski, which I think could probably fill in that role for six months. I'm happy with that. Um, I personally wanted a centre-back, um, even though we have a few at the moment because we didn't sell Rodan or Tanganga. Um, I still think we needed a good quality centre-back in case Davis gets injured. Um, so, And maybe a, a creative midfielder. I guess it depends what Conte wanted as to if he's been backed or not. But he's definitely been backed when it comes to outgoings. People have li we've cle clearly been listened to, hasn't he? We've got them out the door. Um, we've um, we've got uh, uh, even even our loss, or even for not a lot of money, uh, Ndombele, Lo Celso, Delhi, all out the door where maybe an under if Paratici or Conte weren't here, Levy might still be hanging on to them like he has done before. But is this like when you look at the quality of the squad you look at the squad now to how it was before the window opened i like we have it has it improved probably you could say slightly but i wouldn't say it's massively improved if you take if squad. you take um attitude and application and mentality out of it our squad has decreased in level it has because you're taking out quality players like Undombele, Lo Celso, and Deli Ali, and you're bringing in only two players, and you're not and you're not bringing enough midfielders to cover the midfielders that have left. So if if you're looking at that sense, we've got weaker. But if you're looking at in a sense of how positively it is to get these bad apples out, um, then I think that we've improved our chances. I really do. But do, but is does does Conte now have the tools that we all wanted him to have? No. So from that aspect, has he been backed? He's been backed to a certain extent, but he's not been fully backed. Like all like fully, you know, hashtag back Conte, all this kind of stuff. Has You're that never going to be able to fully back him this window? That was never going to happen. No, but you could give him at least. Um, we thought that maybe he needed. He could have. I think we could have done more though than we did. Of course, we could have done more, but we could never have um, filled every single hole in this squad that we needed to. No, but why not? We couldn't. You're right, but we we didn't we didn't target the weakest ones, mm -hmm. the weakest holes, and that's the that is the biggest disappointment. Yeah, it is a disappointment, and that's why we're not giving this window a high rating at the end of the day because he hasn't been fully backed. Uh, you don't. We nobody knows the ins and outs of what's actually happened and who we've actually tried to bring in and what the reasons why uh, people haven't come in. And we're never going to know that probably. But in terms of the players we've brought in, we've brought in two a uh, good level of players, which um, I'm happy that we've brought in. The one key area for me uh, that I keep repeating myself and I'll keep repeating myself is right wing back. If we've brought in a competent right wing back that are a lot better than what we've got now, I would have been very happy with this window. And that's the one position where I think we're massively lacking in um, in terms of quality. I'm also worried about, I am still worried about um, centre mid because as much as I'm <clears throat> happy with Skip, Winks, Bentanko and Hoibier, and I'm fine with them, I don't have a problem with those four options. I think they're all good players. I think they're all going to do well in Conte system. What I'm worried about is in games where we are being stifled, we are um, teams, teams are frustrating us and we need more creative options from deep. What are we going to do? If we, if we need someone 
like uh, um, you know, uh, like a, like an Ericsson or a uh, Ruben Neves or, or whatever, someone who can go pick up the ball from deep and 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 create something from from those kind of aspects and and even move the four even like in games where we don't need two defensive mids basically sometimes what are we going to do is it a case of that's just what we got to the summer now do we have an option in the squad who could maybe um uh, come deep and 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 be a bit of a creator if we need be late in a game uh also for example against leicester right where it's where it's it's um two one to leicester right and what does what does conte do he takes off Harry Winks and he puts on the Celso and puts the Celso centre down. Look, I'm not saying the Celso did well or it was great. I'm just saying even Conte in that situation realised, OK, in this situation, we don't need two defensive mids. We're going to have a bit of a creator, put him there. And hopefully that can lead to us creating more chances, opening up, uh, opening up Leicester. And we only have one... Put, take some risks to the game only have one defensive mid and then all of a sudden it creates more problems for the opposition do we have that option now um to do that in in the second half of the season with a with a with a player we'll take we were we are we always going to be have two defensive mids now every game we're going to be forced to yeah that's, and that's a yeah. problem it is a problem it is the problem but i just felt the right wing back was more of a problem i felt like we can potentially get away um with the central midfield partners that we have right now from now until the end of the season um, yes there's nowhere near enough creativity in there and that's spot on but I think that Winks has done a good role in terms of uh, his progressive passing since he's come back into the mm -hmm. team I think Bentoncourt can uh, can provide that to the team as well and I think Skip as well uh, has been a lot better since Conte has come in and, and foraging into the opposition half and um, creating some chances and getting some shots off and stuff like that so I don't think it's as bad as people are saying and our XG you know our XG is uh, since Conte has come in has gone up massively Without XGing every single team, so yes. on that basis, we should be beating a lot of the teams that we're playing against. And the only teams that we're really struggling against, um, in terms of getting results, are the big teams in the league. Correct. So against all the other teams, I think we should be fine with what we've got in terms of a creative standpoint from the middle of the park. The, where we've been lacking massively since Conte has come in, in my opinion, is that right wing back role. Um, and that's just just my opinion. And I think that's why it was most important to get that right wing back in, in that central midfielder. These guys, um, these sentiments are going to have to take a bit more responsibility than they um, than they have in terms of moving forward now. Because I think I do fear since Conte's coming, I do think they have started doing that anyway. But it's going to be even more so because there's no one else to rely on now. Mm. That's it's them or bust. So and also I think Kulu uh, can have a, a bit of role to play in that situation. Mm. I think if uh, we are struggling late in the game and he's on the bench or even even if he's starting, you can bring on a Lucas Mora or you can bring on a Kulu and put Kulu a bit deeper uh, because he has played that role before. Yeah, so, I mean, that's... Um, no, I think you're right there. I like Kulu um, be a bit central, although I, I don't like him too deep. I don't know how effective he is the too deep. No, I'm not saying to, to play him there regularly, but I'm saying in the last 20 minutes, half an hour, 15 minutes, when we need a goal and we're pushing, Mate, uh, yeah. you can bring on a Lucas Moore and drop him a bit deeper. Mm, be interesting to see if, they, if he ever does that. Um, I don't know if he's... Has he ever played actual centre mid? I think he's played there. Not many times, but he has played there, yeah. Interesting. That would be a good option, then, I guess, if Kulu can do that. Um, but, yeah, um, I, I, don't, I just don't know whether... The question's difficult to answer, because I think he... Uh, now, in terms of outgoings, he's been backed, but in terms of the squad we have... I won't... It just depends what you mean classify by as back. Yeah. That's what it means. I mean... I think he has been back to a certain extent, but he's not been fully backed. But I never expected mm. him to be fully backed this window. But is the squad, like, has he got what he needs to compete? Well, Still not. He, well, I guess he does. When, when you say that we can, we can make top four, then clearly he does. Yeah, I think we can make top four, but we could have made top four before the window. Yeah. But I, feel, I still think we could give us a bit of a better chance with Kulu coming in, with Bentacor coming in, and the players that have come out hardly played any minutes, let's be honest. Yeah, no, it's true. And I think that was the right option to get rid of them. Um, so you're bringing in two players that can play consistently in a lot of minutes, and you're taking out players who've hardly played any minutes. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's true. So I guess from that point of view... That's good, 
that's positive stuff in terms of the deals we've done. But in terms of what the, what squad we have left, are we leaving ourselves too short? Potentially, anyway. We could still potentially leaving ourselves too short. Um, yeah, of course, because of um, the positions that we don't have. But For example, we don't make top four. You know, does Conte have an excuse or not? Or he hasn't been backed? Does, I think he has an excuse, but not because he hasn't been backed. I think because of what the state of the squad he walked into at. I think that's the excuse there. Um, it's likely that we don't make top four, but again, it's also likely that we do. It's a weird one. Um, I, uh, no one expected him to be fully backed in this, in this window, let's be honest. It's a January transfer window. Yes, uh, I know people say it's very hard to do business in January, which I completely said, no, it's not. You can do business in January. But to do a whole rebuild, to get a right back in, to get a central, another central mid in, to get um, another striker in, to get another centre back in, we're never going to do all of that in this one window. And that's the honest truth of it all. And I think we do have enough to make top four. I'll be but for, look, okay, let's say, for example, right, I understand that. No, you're, and, 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 and you're right. I didn't expect the full rebuild. But, for example, if we um, sold Matt Doherty, right, and we didn't bring in another right wing back, right, and we just left ourselves with just Emerson, is that a good deal? Just because, is that good? Is that a good thing to do? Is that a good thing to do? Yeah. yeah. Um, what selling Doherty's and leaving and, us with nothing, and just leaving us with one right wing back? No, it's not. But isn't that what we've done in centre mid in a way? No, because we've got four. We have four, but we're still leaving ourselves very short. Yeah, but the fact of the matter is, um, Matt Doherty, as much as no one wants to hear it, has shown more in the last couple of games he's played than Lacelso has, and Lacelso has since Conte has come in. Um. But I'm saying in, in a in a, in a few other I'm just saying in a few other positions it's kind of I feel yeah but you like got to look at that. you got to look at the personnel uh, that we got out the door and the personnel that got out the door were toxic toxic atmospheres that weren't producing anything for us on the football pitch. You can argue Matt Doherty as well hasn't produced anything for us on the football pitch, but at least he's shown in the last couple of games will desire and he's actually uh, working for the team and actually at that Leicester game he was very important to making stuff happen. Mm. No, he was in that one game. Yeah. Um, I, ju I just feel like there are too many risks that we've left ourselves open for. And maybe, and obviously I wanted to bring in one or two, but that by the by. Right, of course you're we've, spot we've on. Let, and we, and, and, and of course we have. I'm just worried. I'm, I'm worried that something's going to go wrong and we've left ourselves open to something going wrong. We yeah, don't, of course and we that, have. that's the problem. Of course we have. Uh, but at the end of the day, what, what would you have done? The only thing you would have done is kept La Celso. What else would you have done? And signed to another player, yeah. Signed. I think with our current business, uh, if we brought in a right wing back, I would have been more than happy with that. But because we haven't, and we have left ourselves short in other areas, I'm not overly pleased with this window. Yeah. So if you're not overly pleased, can, can you say Conte's been backed? I told you, he's been backed to a certain extent, but not fully. Okay. <laughs> back to a certain extent, but not fully. So, yeah. what, so, so what percentage would you say he's been backed? 50%. 50% backed. Yeah. Is that a real... Does that count, then? What do you mean, does that count? I don't know, like... He's, count, he's been backed 50%. Yeah, he's been half backed. So should we be happy with that? Well, we're six out of ten happy. You're five out of ten happy, which is fifty percent. Yeah, yeah, but should, should, is that is that is that uh, is that? We're acceptable? not happy. We're both saying that. We're yeah, not but is it acceptable? Um, should we be protesting? Should we be protesting? No, I don't think so. We shouldn't be protesting. No. So is it I think that we've still it is just just a tad above the line of acceptable. Borderline unacceptable, 50-50. <laughs> but you know, if, if the fact of the matter is, if uh, if Kane does get a big injury, right, we are gonna we're gonna be back on complaining about the board again, aren't we? Let's be honest. If what? Sorry. If Kane gets a big injury, mm -hmm. we're gonna get back on the board's back. We're gonna be so we're gonna start saying Levy out again. If Kane gets injured, I mean, if Kane gets injured, you can put a Bergwijn or Son there, like we always have done. Um, well, especially with Son, and and every time Kane has got injured and Son's been playing there, we've he's actually done quite well, and it hasn't really hurt us that much, apart from when we had Jose, when Son got injured too. Yeah, that's not my point. I'm just saying. I'm saying if if, they, if if he does get a big injury, or if Davis gets a big injury, like 
Certain and, people and, will. And, 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 Certain people and, will. And, and, no, I'm just, I'm just saying. And and all of a sudden, results start slipping a bit because of those injuries. If that does happen, the board will come under a lot of flag. Yeah, it will. They will. And, well, and rightly so, because we haven't fully backed Conte. Correct. And that's what that's all that's all I'm saying. So has he really I don't know. If at the moment the poll has the poll is has Conte been backed? Four minutes gone, four hundred and thirty five votes of the poll so far. You go to the chat and you can go and put your opinions down. Um at the moment, has Conte been backed? Yes. Um, is up sixty one percent. I don't think. And it's, no, it's thirty nine. I don't think it's as black as white, black and white as that question. Well, that's though. how we do. No, it's, it's, but, but it's it's not, it's football YouTube. We have to that's be black not and the white. case, though. It's not black and white, though. Has to be. It's black not. And white. How can you do a poll that's not black and white? How you can do three options? Well, we're only doing yes and no. <laughs> well, there you go. But I'm just saying, no matter what the poll is, I'm not talking about the poll. I'm talking about the broad question: Has Conte been backed? Fair enough. It's not a yes or no answer. Fair enough. I, I take that point. I just, but, but in terms of the poll, I guess you could argue it's more yes than no. Yeah, like more no than yes. I, that, that's where you put. Yeah, it. you can sway more to one side. That's for yeah. sure. And I sway um, slightly more to. Look, I think it's very, very in the middle. I really do. I don't think it's an either a yes or a no. I mean, I'm I'm at six out of ten uh, thinking about the window, so I'm slightly mm. more happy than I am unhappy. And when you're thinking about it, you're completely in the middle. Yeah, I'm five out of ten, pretty much. Yeah. So exactly. that says all, all you need to know, really. Yeah. I agree. So it's yeah, but it that obviously um, everything is always not black and white in football. It's not as simple as that. Even when a player's not playing well, it's never always just black and white. He's rubbish and that kind of stuff. There's always a lot of the time different factors. But when you boil it down to a black and white question, it's interesting to see what people think. At the moment, 62% say yes, 32 or 38% say no. Get your votes in. Have have we backed Conte as a board, as a, as a club? What, what do we think going into the second half of the season? Does he have the tools to make top four? Um, do, or uh, have we left him short? I want to know what people's opinions are at the moment. Let's...